Hi guys! Hey guys! Paul and Claire from Raintown here and welcome along to Hashtag Ask Raintown episode 3! Three. Three. <laughs> Claire's just laughing because it sounded a bit like Yogi Bear there. Episode 3! Three. Three. It's a picnic basket. <laughs> Um, so guys, welcome along to episode three. It's great to have you with us. Um, we're just going to keep going, as we said in number one. We're going to keep going until uh, you, guys you get fed up sick, asking us things. Sick of it. Hopefully that's never the case. So we'll keep answering the questions, and we're going to kick off today with question number one, which is. Thank you for your question, Andy. So. The remotest venue we've ever played has to be in Canada in Lake Conestoga. It was a house concert hosted by the lovely Jack and Sheila. We had an awesome time that day. Such a beautiful setting. It was incredible, guys. Um, right there, literally in their backyard, straight onto the lake. Hundreds of people there um, enjoying the sunshine, enjoying some food. Um, people literally coming up and sitting in their boats and watching uh, as we played. You know, honestly, a, a fantastic time. And, and bizarrely for it being so remote, so many people there. So Yeah, it and was even great. the mosquitoes had a nice night because they had a great <laughs> feast on my legs. I was bitten all over. Absolutely. <laughs> it, 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 I, don't, I don't get bothered with this. You know, it's, it's clear that it's really It's supposed bothered. to be a woman thing. Women have sweeter blood than men. Of course they do. Of that's course what they Google do. says anyway. <laughs> if Google says it, it must, it must be right. So Andy, that's, uh, that, that's the answer. So thank you for the question. Barbara, thank you for the question. Uh, we've actually been singing together for over 10 years. Yeah, we started um, singing together when Raintown wasn't even in existence. We were just working together. We worked in a place called The Parade in Glasgow, um, in East End of Glasgow. Fantastic place. We met there. Uh, started writing together around about that same time. Yeah, we had that passion for country music. People used to think we were crazy. <laughs> yeah, everything, everything in the place thought we were off our heads. <laughs> um, but, you know, we really enjoyed it. But probably... You know, ten years singing together, but six years really doing Rain Town. Rain Town. Um, we started it when we went to Grand Canaria. We were working out there and writing out there, and um, we, we we started coming up with this, or formulating this idea. Why don't we do the duo? And why don't we do country music? That's what our passion is. That's what our love is. We um, started writing and recording our debut album, Hope and Trouble Times, in two thousand and nine. Two thousand nine, and yep. So it's 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 very much a case that. Um, although we've been singing together for a longer period of time, Rain Town, about six years or so. Rich, thank you so much for the question. Um, yeah, Fiona, Fiona Cuthel, who is our, our primary fiddle, fiddle player, player um, but also Sandy Forbes, who, who comes in and covers Fiona. Um, both of them are, are really, really busy, so it's difficult for them um, to, to, to get the diaries together and, and to make a lot of the, the touring dates happen. So. The quick answer is no, there will be no fiddle on the October tour, but we will be coming out with uh, with keyboards and stuff for the, the October tour. So it'll be the seven piece we come out with, full band set up. In terms of the sound of the album, that that there isn't fiddle on the new album. Um, it, it was as much again to do with timing. Um, Fiona was away on vacation at the time, um, and and so it's it's one of these things. We love the sound of it. We want it as much as we can. Uh, when we're out and about gigging. In fact, Fiona, fingers crossed, we'll be, be doing a gig we're going to announce. Very ho soon. Hopefully, hopefully very Supposed soon. Supposed to have been this week. <laughs> um, so fingers crossed, but it's for Edinburgh. Um, but we'll, we'll hopefully get that sorted ASAP. Um, so as much as we can, we'll have uh, either Fiona or Sandy out with us. Fingers crossed, Rich, um, and uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. Thanks for your question. Thank you for the question, Dodie. That's going to answer. That's twofold, actually. I'm going to answer the first part of it Aye. on oh. behalf of both of us. Okay, I'll, I'll just have a wee sip of tea. <laughs> it's got to be our families. They've supported us through the high moments, the low moments, right from the start when we played a gig in front of three people in Glasgow in the rain up until filling out the Brooklyn Bowl this year at C2C. We can't thank them enough. There's just nothing we can do to repay them for everything they've done. Yeah, it goes, it goes without saying, guys. Thank you so much. The second part of that, um, I, I think it's fair to say, though, is, is our fans. Our fans keep us going. 
Um, this can be at times the most frustrating business in the world. Um, oftentimes it goes a lot slower than you want it to. Yeah. Uh, and then it's all quick, quick, quick. So, uh, but our fans keep us focused. They keep us. They keep us strong. They challenge uh, us as well because we want to keep getting better every time and producing better music for you guys all the time. So, um, a big thank you to everybody who supports who us. Supports us. I, I seen somebody called us uh, the people who follow us townies the other day. There. Yep. I quite like that. You're so, the townies. <laughs> so, um, to, to everyone who supports our music, it means more than you'll ever know. Thank you so much. Nikki, thank you for the question. Um, honestly, I suppose it's it's managing the expectation is the difficult part. Um, obviously, we're really proud of Hope and Troubled Times, but you know we love what we've done and writing on the wall. We're so excited to get it out to you guys. Um, so, you know, I suppose it's working with expectation is the answer. Uh, but for us personally, not not really difficult. We love to write. We love doing new stuff. So. Um, and we hope you guys are really proud of it. As far as inspiration goes, that's it's not difficult to look for inspiration in everyday life. Like from Hope and Trouble Times up until this point, that's been five, six years. So in yep. that time, we've grown personally, professionally. So we've experienced a lot more things in that time, whether that be happy things, sad things. And we've written about that and things that have touched us from what we've seen on the news or we've heard from people that we care about. Absolutely. So, um, so Nikki, thank you for the question. And that is going to be the last question we're going to answer on episode three. We hope you enjoyed it. Guys, uh, there's at least three or four other questions we've still got to get to. Uh, I know Jeanette, Simon, um, are, are definitely a couple that I saw there. Promise. We'll get them in next time. Episode four, we're going to start with those questions. Um, if you've got anything else, remember hashtag Ask Rain Time and uh, we'll get answering for you. So, from Paul and Claire. Take care. Bye-bye.